So I decided to use that uh, 162.4 megahertz oscillator. I put it in a little can here. I added a BNC and, and uh, it is also capacitively coupled. I had to do one additional trick and that's because of the type of oscillator this is. And it's cool. Um, let me show you the data sheet. Uh, it is a um, an ECL part, ECL, so not very popular these days, but emitter coupled logic. And it was a very, very fast uh, logic series. And it ran on negative voltage. It ran on zero to negative 5.2 volts. And so this uh, oscillator is an echo oscillator. So you'd think, well, you can't use that. Negative voltages, that, that'll be kind of a pain. But you can do a trick. Uh, but let me first look at the data sheet here. It has one nanosecond rise time. So this is going to output really sharp edges, which means I'm going to get a really nice harmonic series out of it. So um, so what's the trick that I had to do? Uh, let me write on the back of this. So normally these things have four pins. And one goes to plus five, and one goes to ground, and one goes out. And this one's not used, all right? And generally, this pin, this negative pin, is actually soldered to the case. So the, um, so the ground is also the ground for the shield. Well, this part, this part's different. <laughs> this part looks like this. It has four pins, all the same, except this pin is soldered to the case and is labeled zero. And this is minus 5.2 and this is out. All right. So what I did was I put in a capacitor here, 0.1 microfarad. Is that on camera? Can't see. There we go. Um, and instead of driving it with this and this, I'm going to drive that at zero and this at plus five. And it doesn't matter. It's, this is still going to be negative reference to that one. So, uh, so that's the way it's wired. And uh, it would normally output zero to minus five. But since I'm capacitively coupled, it outputs exactly the same as it would if it was a plus five part. So, uh, so that's what I have wired in there. And so I'll show you a close up of this. It's got a little uh, 0.1 microfarad uh, surface mount part jammed in there. So let's go take a look at it on the uh, spectrum analyzer. And it has a, a surprising, uh, surprising spectral output. Let's uh, hook up the uh, 100 and what is it? 162.4. Make sure I don't get in front of the camera. It's hard to do with the way I have this uh, set up for filming. Let's do 500 megahertz and a one gigahertz span. So that's the full range. And you can see we get lots of harmonics. And it's an interesting harmonic series. This is the, this is the main harmonic. And then the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth harmonics are visible here. And the fifth harmonic is actually larger than the, than the primary. Um, the fundamental. So, uh, very interesting. Um, so, and then there's another one that's a really weird mix product uh, here. So let's go to the marker. Uh, peak. So there's this weird one at 101, 101 megahertz. I'm not sure why that one's there. Uh, we have a hundred and says 160, 162.4 is there. Um, and then twice the frequency, 324, 487, 650, 812. So the 812 is really interesting because it's higher than the, uh, than the 162. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So the 812 is at minus 26 dBm. And this one's at minus 30 dBm, so it's 4 dBm higher. Go figure. And then there's this weird one down here. Let's uh, cut the sweep down. Let's see. Let's zoom in here to 162.4. 
and we'll scan 100 megahertz, 100 megahertz. There we go. So there's the uh, there's the fundamental. Let's go to 101. There's the 101. I don't know why. I don't know why it's there. Uh, let's see. And then let's go to the 812, which is the really interesting one. Kind of a nice, a nice value. Here's the 812, and it's um, main marker peak. Yeah, it's minus 26.44 dBm. So. Anyway, it's interesting. It's, it'll be a good, uh, a good oscillator to add because it has a lot of frequencies to choose from, um, and goes up to nine something. The the final marker, let's see, the final one is at nine something nine. Well, here let's go to main. Nine hundred megahertz. Twenty. Uh, Let's see, 900 megahertz. Jeez, I can't drive this thing. There we go, 900 and we'll do uh, 10 megahertz of span. Uh, let's do 50 megahertz of span. Now I, I know there's a marker up here. I mean, if, oh, that's weird. Hmm. See, there's our 812. And I know there's one above this. So let's do. I could have swore. Hmm. Maybe it's the spur that I was looking at. Now that's weird. 500 megahertz. One gig of bandwidth. Yeah, there's this guy up here. And so let's go figure out who he is. Marker, next peak. He's at, oh, 973, that's why. So we can do marker to center. There we go, he's just right on the edge. Uh, main span, 10 megahertz. Yeah, there he is. He's just tiny and Marker peak. He's at minus 45 dBm, so he's pretty low. But the other ones up to 812, boy, those are great, nice and healthy. Um, so it'll be a, a good addition to the uh, to my SMA series.